guys Jimmy here on the job today I'm doing a transmission service on the project 9 second AU um, number one tool you're gonna need is a ground down 16 millimeter see I've taken the, uh, the roundness off the, f the face of that if you've ever tried to change the transmission oil on one of these AUs you'll know that you don't get any second chances with that bolt you've got to be pretty well con committed to it and a lot of pressure and and snap it off pretty quick and uh, don't round off the nut the nut isn't very big so you can struggle with that I'll show what we're going to be doing so when I do my transmission service I like to take the bottom um, hose off this one here that's the output from the pump and we'll just dump it into the um, into this can here and um, you do need to take off this bolt just up here gives you a bit more flexibility moving your uh, pipes around um, this will actually get a cooler in it and a very large cooler show you some hot up bits we'll be putting on this beast check this out all right I know you can probably hear it that's the sound she's going to be making soon folks we've got a 600 horsepower turbo there we've got a stall uh, 3000 rpm I'm still waiting on a manualized conversion sorry manualized um, shift kit for it not sure what these BDRs can take as far as power goes some people tell me they'll take about 450 horsepower I'm going to actually test it and see how it goes and we'll put a ceramic front band in it and I'll, I'll actually give the, the whole gearbox a bit of a tidy up first before it goes for its first run um, this car I picked up it's done 125,000 K's and I believe that to be genuine, but it looks like the transmission's never been serviced. We're going to dump the oil and have a quick look at it. Stay tuned. Yeah, pretty black there, guys. Pretty black. When that goes to bubbles, we'll shut it down, put some fresh oil in it, and, and uh, flush it through again. All right, yeah, look at the colour of this oil, eh? It's um, probably never been changed, but we're just about to find out when we take the pan off it. I am going to put another flush through it. Uh, first up though, I want to get rid of all this old shit that's in the uh, in the galleries, the converter even though I'm changing it, I want to do a full flush and uh, take it for a drive, see how she goes with this full synthetic oil in it alright, let's drop the pan it's the second batch of oil um, still, still looking like engine oil anyway, I'm not going to worry about it anymore I'm just going to uh, drop the pan and see what comes out look, there's a little bit of depositing there uh, magnet's got a bit on it. Not, I wouldn't say it's completely full though. It's still got room for more, um, but that's not too bad. Maybe it has had a, a service at around 60,000. The filter's not too good. Let's go have a look at the filter. All right, there's the filter. You can see it does look like it's got a bit of crud on there. Um, I'll see if there's any part number. Let's see if it's an original filter. Yeah, it looks like it's got a... Hang on. Can't tell if that's a Ford logo on the side of it. Anyway. I'll take that off and have a quick, quick look at it. But yeah, the um, the nut wasn't um, butchered, so if it did get a a service, you know, around 100,000 k mark or 60,000 k, they uh, did a good job with that nut. The uh, filler plug 